We are ready to OCT embed our frozen tissue. We have a cryo mold for embedding, chilled OCT that has been on ice for at least 30 minutes, powdered dry ice that we've made with a mortar and pestle, specimen forceps that have been pre-cooled on dry ice for at least 30 minutes, and a pre-cooled Wheaton Cryolite cryovial. First, label the cryo mold to mark the orientation of the tissue. Label the cryo mold before adding OCT and tissue. The OCT will quickly turn white once frozen, making it hard to determine tissue orientation later. Fill the labeled cryo mold with chilled OCT without introducing bubbles. Remove the frozen tissue from minus 80 degrees Celsius and transfer in dry ice. Now we can OCT embed the frozen tissue. Using pre-cooled forceps, immediately place the frozen tissue into the OCT, covering any exposed surfaces with additional OCT. Confirm there are no bubbles, especially near the tissue. Immediately place the cryo mold containing tissue and OCT in powder dry ice. The OCT should be completely opaque prior to storage of the OCT embedded tissue. Once the OCT is completely frozen, remove the tissue block from the cryo mold and trim it using a razor blade. Then, Place the OCT embedded tissue block into a pre cooled Wheaton Cryolite cryovial. Alternatively, a resealable bag can be used for storing the tissue block. Failure to use a sealed container for storage may dehydrate and damage the tissue. Store the OCT embedded tissue block in a sealed container at minus 80 degrees Celsius for long term storage, or immediately proceed to cry sectioning and section placement. We have OCT embedded the frozen tissue. And next, we will simultaneously freeze and OCT embed fresh tissue.